Brother Sister, Slash Energy, Brother Wisdom, what's going on, guys? You know, um, there is a war currently going on, but the war is not what many think it is. They talk about the war in Russia. It's propaganda. You know, I was watching one part of this so-called war and there was like this reporter and he's standing in this corner and he's like, look, there's the Russian soldiers now. And you saw these like five or six guys. They had guns in their hands and they were just walking around in circles. And he's he tell the cameraman, stand up, stand up, get a shot of this. And it's like, I'm like, wow. And then, you know, they show these explosions and this is one area you see this big explosion and it looks like almost like a Hollywood explosion. And then you see another area and see the then you see the planes flying across the sky and they supposedly firing um missiles somewhere, but you know, you never really see anything that's real, you know. Um so you have to understand that there's a war going on, but not the war that you think it is. You know, they have the propaganda talking about, oh yeah, oh. they put it out there in the media, but you really don't have anyone um, going online and saying, hey, we're going through this stuff. They said there were people from Africa who were supposedly going through uh, trib tribulous times, tri tribulous times in Ukraine, and supposedly um, they had Ukrainian soldiers that with guns pointed at the Africans, but there's not yet one video I found with Africans say, hey, we, you know, we're at gunpoint. They said, oh yeah, you know, I haven't found one yet to show these Africans at gunpoint or being forced to say, oh yeah, the Africans are not allowed to get on the bus with the Ukrainians. You know, it's, it's all propaganda. Alright? This is public relations, PR, that's all it is. The real war that's going on right now is a mental war. And they want you to think this is a real war. Alright. The mental war is designed to captivate the minds of the awakened. Like we say, we're not worrying about the sleepers. Let the sleepers sleep. And, you know, it doesn't matter what they think. Their thoughts does, don't count anymore here on the planet. Alright. Let the sleepers sleep. You know, let them sleep. Um, right now, there's a war that is happening, and there's a war against the shifting timelines. Timelines are shifting. Remember, we talked about how Pluto is here now. Pluto is bringing the bringing has returned uh, the atmosphere to us. Okay. And this is a war against the shifting timelines. Um, these inorganic beings are taking war. You know, there's a um, store over on Seven Mile. I think it's Seven Mile and it's not Ferguson. Oh my goodness. It's Seven Mile, just um, east of Southfield. Um, and it's called More Herbs. And. The Michigan Attorney General took it upon herself to attack this business. Okay. Um, the brother was selling lots of alkaline water, colloidal silver, colloidal gold, colloidal copper. I had bought some from him. Um, and other things that he sold. And he had the vegan burgers and I mean, all, all kind of foods that he had sold also. So, um, Remember, that's a war against us. There's a war against us. And as the information is getting out that these brothers and sisters are drinking, getting this water and all kind of other things, all kind of other foods getting from this from this brother here, this shop. You know, he had crystals and all that he sold. I mean, just really nice place. Really, really warm spirit. Beautiful uh, brother. And... First, the state, the, the state attorney general says, she says, um, well, he's selling the food that's not um, approved by us for him to sell. 
you know, one thing we gotta remember is these beings are on our planet. And, you know, brother, he was just wanting to run a business. And he was doing good. And he wants to sell good stuff to our people, our brothers and sisters. And he's doing a good job. And then they revoke his license. They said, well, you know, he has to close down the business because he doesn't have a license to sell anything. You gotta understand. This is a war against the shifting timelines. And this is why you brothers and sisters are being prepared for what's getting ready to take place here on the planet. I'm watching all kind of stuff. Afghanistan. Let's go back to Afghanistan. You know, they showed that footage on Afghanistan. And that was some old footage from probably about 20 years ago. There were Al-Qaeda's taking over. What was going on in Afghanistan? Giants. But they were us. And they were killing up a lot of them. And the soldiers had to get out of Afghanistan. Because they were firing their bullets upon these brothers. And the bullets wouldn't penetrate their bodies. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to talk about how many soldiers got killed. They're not talking about how many Afghans got killed. But in this a certain area of Afghanistan, the giants came and they wiped out a whole lot of them. And this is when Trump was in office and he said, oh yeah, bring these Afghans over here or whatever. You know, you got to understand the timelines are shifting. Okay. The timelines are shifting and everything is changing around us. And things are not what they used to be. Okay. Just, just know that things are not what they used to be. All right. Everything is shifting, brothers and sisters. And this is the war against the shifting timelines. We're in, awaken, in, a, in an awakened state. Okay. And we're getting ready to go beyond that awakened state. All right. Understand that we're getting ready to go beyond that awakened state. When we are in the true celestial energies, true celestial powers. This is when we're in the awakening. You're awakened, and then you have been awakened. But when you're in the awakening, you know, this is something that they can't take, they can't tolerate, and the energy is literally shifting. You know, I was talking with a brother, and, you know, I was talking about the sun, how the sun is sitting, you know, this massive solar flares, whatever. I said, you know what? We need to do a, a a mass meditation together. We need to do a mass meditation, focusing on our our galactic sun, and pulling in as much energy from our sun as possible, and sending this massive freaking flare to just completely dismantle this entire system <laughs> we can do it because we're solar beings all right you have to understand this and understand brothers and sisters that they're scared all right the next first thing they want to get to is your mind they already came with the virus and the vaccine next they're coming with the war that's never that's not even real what are they coming with next they need to try, they're focusing on the, those who are awakened. They're focusing on those, those who are awakened. We, we not, we're not talking about all Pan-African. All right. Pan-African, you still sleeping. <laughs> if, you still, if you still have this idea that everything came out of Africa, no, it didn't. We are all over the planet. We are the planet. That's why we are everywhere. All right. These beings want us in a waking, in a, in a sleeping state. But at the same time, they can't evolve. I was talking with one of these uh, inorganic beings one day, and we was talking. Um, we was talking about how um, I was. I explained to him. I said, you know, this system here that we're dealing with is, is old and is it hasn't evolved. It and and I said it's it's, it's the same since the 1940s and 50s. And he says, oh, the tube system works. He said, we still use the tube system. 
He said, it, it works and, and, and we like it. And I'm like, wow. He just admitted it. He's like, yeah, I used to work for the electrical company. And he says, we we still use the tube. He said, right now, today, the, they're the same tube systems used. He's like, you know, we couldn't go any further. He says, so we use what we know to use. And I'm like, wow. And then I, I thought about it. I said, all over the world, these inorganic beings, even China and Japan, all, they're still using the same system. They just want everybody to think that they have advanced when in reality they have an advanced because they are still using the tube system because the other systems are too high. The, 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 the fields of radiation and, and, and plasma and, and, and energy is too high for their bodies. So they have to use something that their bodies can adapt to. This is why they use that same system. And this is why it's important for us to elevate our minds so that we can begin reshaping our planet. All right? We have the ability to shut this thing down. We have the ability to bring this thing to a complete end. And this is the war against the shifting timelines. The timelines are shifting. Remember we talked about um, our sacred timelines, how each one of us have a sacred timeline that we're supposed to be working on. All right. The, the timelines are shifting. And we know that Pluto is here. And Pluto is bringing all the energy in our favor. The atmosphere is coming in our favor. Even when this whole winter thing that they created and Try to make it cold. It couldn't even get cold good enough. It, it couldn't get cold at all. Everything they put down was melting. Like instantly. It was, it was melting. I wanted to shuffle up the snow and all. And whatever that shit was. It's not even whatever they call it. They call it snow. It's snow. Okay. I wanted to shovel that shit up. And the, and the ground was completely hot. Everything up under that stuff was just melting. So you got to understand you know, this is a war against shifting timelines. We got to bring the war to them. How do we bring the war to them? Our awakening. So that we can link into our celestial bodies. All right? The true transformers. We are the transformers. We are the ones who can transform from this lower body to a higher body. We are the transformers. So we got to get our bodies in tuned. All right? That's why it's important what we eat. Nothing but uh, fruits and fruits and vegetables, nuts and grains. You know what we drink. Lots of fruit juice and your water. You want your water to be pure alkaline water. All right. I have my alkaline water that I drink. Um, and um, I've still been drinking it all the time. It's got the copper and the crystal and the magnets in it. The copper wire, the crystal, and the magnets. That's my alkaline water. And it tastes just like pure spring water. Seriously. So it's important. The foods we eat things we drink, our thinking, the words we say, the things we do, all this stuff plays a definite role, all right? So we got to understand that this war that's being fought is not about, um, it's not Afghanistan. Okay, um, yeah, so the war is, it's not a war with, with Afghanistan, it's not a war with Russia, it's not a war with Syria, it's not, it's none of that, it's a war against the minds of the original beings, understand what's going on, because we are moving in the way of the cosmos, we are shifting the timelines, understand this. Remember, we who are awakened, it is only our voice, our minds, which, will, which is changing the energy on the planet. All the other brothers and sisters who are fast asleep, 
their minds, their their words don't do anything. All right, remember that. That's why we said only one percent of how kinfolk will save the planet. There's very few who are awakened among the many of our kind of our species. This is the war against the shifting timelines. And we must understand that these inorganic beings are going to try to get to our minds as much as they can because this is the only way that they can um, uh, try to attack us, you know, it's mentally. They know we're coming into the strength. They know we're coming into the strength of the cosmos, the, the cosmic energy, all right? This, this whatever happened in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s and the 90s, early 2000s, right now, it's not happening that way. Especially with we who are awakened, all right? Their brothers and sisters, I'm, list, I'm linking into their souls and they were once into the game and now they're finding the awakening energy and they are knowing who they are. Know this, brothers and sisters. This is a war against the shifting timelines because the timelines are shifting. These inorganic beings are about to be timed out and they are fighting real hard to try to keep themselves in existence. This is why we are to advance. All this beautiful sky. You think we're supposed to be walking around looking up at the sky? We're supposed to be flying. Looking down on the ground. All right. The shifting timelines. When we do your T exercises, what's, what's, what's happening? You are literally activating extremely high, highly charged plasma energy particles that are within us you're, you're you're activating these charges and you feel them all over your body we're shifting the timelines and this is a war against the shifting timelines everything is changing brothers and sisters everything is changing all right they are losing resources everywhere i see the commercial you know these inorganic beings say oh you know you can go to the to California and to the old gold mines and get and people can dig up gold and you can take it to the depository and we'll give you money for whatever you dug up because they have they don't have any resources. All over the world out the Anunnaki brothers have taken their gold. Alright. They know not to play against the Anunnaki. Why you think they that they're not talking about gold anymore. They don't talk about gold anymore. They it's a lot of things that's been taken away from them. Russia right now, Russia was getting fresh, it's, it's getting fresh water from the Great Lakes, taken to them, thousands of gallons a week, thousands of gallons a week of fresh water from the Great Lakes, Russia is trying to get water from Ukraine because they don't have any fresh water, come on now. They're running out of resources. And just like my buddy said, when you these inorganic beings begin to run out of resources, what do they do? They fight among each other. They fight among themselves because they they that's in their blood, that's in their nature. They don't know how to do anything else but fight against themselves. So there's a war against the shifting timelines. And mostly you gotta remember the war that they're using right now is a mental war. Real war war three is mental. The real World War Three is mental. Virus, vaccine, war, war, war. What else you got? I mean, all kind of shit they put out there. This is the real World War Three. It's a mental war. And that's why you have to control your thoughts, control your mind, control everything about you. Because these beings are working extremely hard to try those who, to try to make those who are awakened to fall back to sleep all right so i just want to share that with you all because this is a shift that's happening right now on the planet and when you talk about the poles shifting you're talking about the polarities of the planet you're talking about
talking about the polarities. I'm talking about the magnetic fields going away. And nothing but plasma fields everywhere. They don't know what to do. And the only thing they're doing is the same thing that they're doing right now. Spraying the sky, make it cold. Spray the sky, make it cold. Spray. That's all they know how to do. They can evolve. You're talking about the beings who can evolve, but we can evolve, which means that you got to get up off your duff. You see the brothers, the sisters over there in the land called Africa, they are, they're over there. They're working. They're putting in the work. They're creating these all type of different devices and all kind of different vehicles. Over here, we got to do the same thing. But so many of us are, are too worried about, um, what kind of sh shoes should I wear? What kind of clothes should I wear? You know, oh, he can't outdo me with this. And I want to rap. I want to do this. Come on now. The brothers, they're, they're, they're outdoing us. And it's not a competition thing. But it's, it's the fact that they are working in their sacred timeline. Are you working in your sacred timeline? The brothers, both, both the brothers, the one in Zimbabwe, the one in, in Nigeria said, God gave them that. He said it was God with God with, with the ancestors. Because that's all they know is they, they don't they really don't know, but they're so open. It's the ancestors and they don't have the distractions over there that we have. So they're more open. So what's it, this is why we must, you know, filter through the distractions. I'm working on the project right now. You know, like I say, I'm a carpenter. These brothers here, they're into some type other type of technologies. One brother created the one brother in, in Nigeria created the car that runs on the gravitational force of the planet. The other brother, he created the car that runs on radio frequencies. There's another brother who created a generator that runs on the plasma energy in the atmosphere. It's not plugged into nothing. It works on nothing. It operates and it can light up a whole community. We got to catch up with our brothers over there. On the other side of the world, we got to catch up with them. This is a war against the shifting timelines because this is our time to take over. But the only way you take over is linking into celestial energy. All right. Remember, you can't think these beings away. You can't think them at all away. If that was the case, they would have been gone a long time ago. All right. You got to link into this power and energy. All right. Timelines are shifting. Everything is over for them. Let's make a bold stand, brothers and sisters. Let's get up, up our duff. We should have cars that be that should be levitating off the ground right now. We should have all types of vehicles right now. Like I said, I'm working on a project. <laughs> I like dealing with sound and different types of energies. So, brothers and sisters, you know, we should have all types of devices created right now that can literally just open gateways and all kind of stuff. All right. We're going to go deeper into this. These inorganic beings hate this type of information. This is what they hate. But I'm not going to give them any leeway to try to um, attack me in any way. That's why I say I'm not, I'm no longer talking about that mess no more. Whatever it was, I'm not talking about it no more. You're not going to catch me with no more um, medical misinformation about your stupid ass shit you created. We are the ones who are supposed to be creating and building all types of intelligence. We got to get to it, brothers and sisters. Crystals, metals, minerals, wood, water. I mean, come on now, fire. We got to, we got to dig deep down within ourselves to find us. Okay? That pyramid I built, that was a, 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 that was given to me. This is how you build this pyramid. Me being a carpenter, I built it and it's perfect. Now link it to yourself and find out what you can do, brothers and sisters, because the timelines are shifting. Everything is in our favor. And we got to do this. All right. We're going to be sending some more pictures on the YouTube channel also. On the YouTube community channel. Because us brothers and sisters sending in pictures. 
through the Earth Children Meditation Group. They send me pictures. I'm going to repost them. All right. That's one brother who sent a picture back. I can post it on Earth Children Meditation and YouTube. When I try to post this, the pixels are too big. So I have to post it on Facebook. But it will be there. All right. This is a war against the shifting timelines. The timelines are shifting. And these inorganic beings are scared because time is not in their favor. Time has never been in their favor, but as now today, time is really not in their favor. All right. I pass this on to you. I hope you understand, understand, understand everything that's been said, brothers and sisters. I'm going to catch you guys a little later. You know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial angel. It means make chaos reign with you forever and ever, ever. Remember, chaos brings change, not peace. Chaos is literally um, deprogramming and reprogramming. That's chaos. All right. Much power to you all.